Hey guys, Sunstreaker was here, and today's video is all about a new game mode that is coming out soon to Transformers Earth Wars. Uh, and I'm really excited about this. I've been asking for this for pretty much a year now. It's been a long time in production, and it's finally close to coming to the game. Now, it's not quite here yet, guys. Now, even though this looks like my base, this looks like my layout. It is my base as such. It, uh, they are my bots, but this is basically a copy of my bots and my base. So any reward that I get in here, it's a totally separate server, they don't go to my global account. Any crystals that I open, they don't go to my global account. It's basically like having, like I said, a copy of my account, two accounts on totally different servers. So, that being said, um, I'm not gonna go into the good and bad parts of this, to honest with you, right now. I will do when it gets launched live, or we have a better idea. Because right now, it's a lot into the testing side of it, and values will change, and you know specifications on how much of every resource and things like that will change. I've no doubt about that by the time the game comes globally. So there's no point in me commenting saying that, you know, it takes too much of this, or this is too much, or this is too easy, or hard, or there's no point, because these are gonna change over time because of the VIP feedbacks from the guys that are testing the game it's going to change, so there's no point in me really giving you guys a lowdown on, you know, how it behaves in that sense. But what I can do is, I can show you what is coming up, and I can give you an idea of what bots that I've been using, and how I think that strategically you can sort of change the way you fight, and bots that you may have already leveled, that you might think, you know, you know, I might have a certain bot, and you think, you know, I'm stuck with this bot, it's not a good on global, but I'm stuck with it, it's the only four star I've got, where you may come, to, you know, this game mode, and all of a sudden that bot is one of the best bots to use. So don't be disheartened, guys. We'll go through that shortly. And like I said, it does really switch things up. That's what I really like about this this game mode. It does switch things up and gives bots a new lease of life that you maybe didn't consider before and maybe didn't level. Um, so going into it, there's two parts of it, basically. There's tokens and raids. Now, I'll go into the token side of it shortly. Uh, but for now, I just want to get into a raid battle and sort of show you guys the battles and sort of explain briefly sort of how it works. So you press the raid button and it's all different zones there. So I think we're on zone 9 or 10 at the minute. I think that's 10. I think it's 287 for some reason. Like I said, there is a few bugs, things like that, but they will get ironed out. Um, and obviously zone 1 is a lot easier. Uh, it might take a few years to beat it. Um, doing one attack each, one guy might want to do three attacks, it's entirely up to you how you attack, but um, yeah, you go through and gradually the bases get harder and harder. So, you can see there, so just quit one while it's available, you can see there, Dave88 Prime, um, he's attacking a base there, now while he's attacking that base, I can't attack it also. You know, I've, I can scout it, I can look at it, I can attack any other base, but I can't attack that one base while he's attacking. I have got to wait until he's finished attack to attack that base. So I'm going to choose another one. But what I'm going to do is, I'm going to scout some bases for now, guys. And give you an idea on uh, what we're going up against. Because it's not your traditional base. The defences are a lot harder, a lot tougher, do a lot more damage. They're absolutely monstrous. So as you can see, the uh, on first inspection, it looks like very similar to the game. But these defences do a lot different you can see there, so the normal beam laser doesn't just fire a normal beam in a, a, as a static value. You know, you can see there, it does more damage the longer it hits the target. So ideally, once a beam laser starts shooting, you want to stop it as soon as. It reminds me of an infernal tower in Clash of Clans. If you think of an infernal tower, that is basically what the beam laser is. So, and there's all different types, like I said. Um... There's all kinds of different defences. They're not the same as on the global version of the game. So it's important that when you first get the game, have a look at all the defences and sort of skip through and see exactly what all these defences do. But a good thing to do is that try and hack these defences. Because like with the beam laser, like I said, once it hits a target and it goes on and on and on and on and builds up momentum, it's going to do a lot of damage. It's going to do a lot of damage. So a lot of hack bots 
and a lot of stun bots are really good in this game mode. So you're talking the likes of Perceptor. Perceptor is OP in this game mode. Now, the last leaderboard event, last four-star leaderboard event that I took part in was the Perceptor leaderboard. And I'll be honest with you, it broke me. I spent so much money leveling that bot, you know, and spent so much money, you know, chasing that bot that I thought it's not really worth me doing leaderboards anymore for bots like this. Now, recently, Space Up have changed this, and the bots that come out in leaderboards are a lot better. But now, Perceptor is so good in this game mode, along with Rust Dust. I love Rust Dust in this game mode as well, because if you've got cannon shooting at her, she jumps out the way, and especially if you put healers with them, they jump out the way and can get healed again because they take minimal damage. But they can jump out the way, that's the point of it. Bumblebee, how he stuns defensive. If you can get him close to a big defence and he stuns it, then that defence is gone. That's it, there's not taking any more damage. Silver Bolt, if you can stun a big defence like that for 20, 30 seconds, then that's hugely OP. You know, these bots before that you had them, you were like, God, I'm gutted I've got this bot. It's a waste of time. What a waste. Not anymore, guys. You know, these kind of bots are really good for this game mode. So keep them in mind and start leveling them now, especially Perceptor, especially Silver Bolt, bots like that. Even Mirage. You know, if you're stuck with Mirage, they're gonna be disappointed because you've got no four-star gunners that can one-shot. You don't need one-shot gunners for this, guys. You know, bots like Mirage can do a great job still. So keep that in mind. So, without further ado, we're going to go and battle. But, I want to show you something quick. Like I said, going on, like I said, about them scouts and things like that. I'll show you my war team that I tend to use for my um, war attacks. So, I'm going to go in this way just to show you my teams because the other way you can time out and you have to go through it all again. Uh, to give you a limited time to select your bots. That's just so that you don't um, sort of go on a base and you stood there for 20 minutes selecting your bots and someone else can't get in. It's a timer. Just, it's a good idea, really, so that it can keep the game flowing. So that's my standard war team um, that I use. So look at that there. So, and this is my team I've been using for raids, for the new game mode. And you can see there, total less power but totally different, a uh, totally new way of visiting bases. And like I said, I'm going to concentrate on leveling some of these bots now. But I, I think three healers is brilliant in this game mode. You want them, heal them healers to keep those bots alive as long as possible. And you do suffer a bit of DPS for it. You know, this is not a high DPS. But this is all about stunning and hacking and healing. That's basically all I've gone around. And... You know, I've no doubt I'll learn more ways to do things and, you know, better ways to attack these bases as I go. But like I said, I've only been playing this for a short while now. But I'm just giving you guys some of my ideas of how I've been doing it and the bots that I'm going to focus on levelling uh, for when the new game mode comes out. So let's go into a battle. So it can be quite chaotic because obviously you're getting a lot of damage done to your bots very quickly. And so, uh, like I said, it can be over fairly quick, but I still like it. So you can see there, I can't attack them to zones because they're being attacked already. So we will go into here. And let's go. Now I've tried it with some gunners, they improved DPS. But what I like about this team is, especially when you've got first aid, I use his medibots on this. And I like the fact that they all sort of stick together. So it gives first aid some extra healing. But maybe because I've got three healers, I don't need that. Something to consider. But, yeah. Like I said, that's something else I need to look into as well. But this is just to give you an idea on, you know, the bases. So first I'm going to sort of pick where to attack from. So you, you've got to sort of stay from the, away from these. You know, it, it really can do a lot of damage to your bots. Especially scouts, things like that. Unless you hack them. Um... That doesn't target flying bots, so you can use a lot of jets for that and things like that. If you want to, you know, the uh, HQ strike uh, that was out uh, quite a while ago, especially at HQ uh, 15, um, you could maybe do that on them sort of targets because they don't target flying bots. Uh, but it does heavy damage in a line, so you, against this defense, you want to spread the bots out, really. So, and you can see a numerical number there. So, because it's got 36, you've got to go through that health bar 36 times. 
to destroy that. And you're getting nothing in return from that. As in no ability points or anything. So you need to keep that in mind, guys. So you need to sort of target defences that you know you can sort of beat. Now, my defence is there. I've got a lot of scouts, so they can't shoot over walls. So that'd be ideal for gunners, really. Uh, but I haven't got gunners. So I'm thinking I'm going to attack. They've got a short range over there. I'm thinking I'm going to attack right in this corner up here. And I'm going to hack this defence. That's my idea. I'm going to keep hacking that defence. I'm going to stun the cannons. And that's the plan. <laughs> that is the plan. Okay, so straight away. So I'm going to put Ultra Magnus down first and the bots behind him just so he gets the damage first. And you can see there that straight away my pots are getting demolished. Let's get Bumby down there. Oh my days, this is going terrible. <laughs> wow, that is crazy strong. That is crazy strong. Retreat. <laughs> but like I said, you might look at that and go, I'll be honest with you, I've been in about 3%. Um, but that's the first time I've attacked a full uh, base where there's been no damage. It's a bit easier when someone makes a dent in it and they can sort of take things out. But the good thing is, guys, like I said, because I've got a lot of raid tokens, I can just go again with a different team. So we'll try it with a bit of a walk team. Hmm, I'm going to go with, uh, yeah. So we'll try again. And like I said, I'm not going to hack the defences this time. I'm just going to go with a pure walk team, but you'll see it again how quickly they just get eradicated out. It might be where I attack. Like I said, I'm totally a noob at this new game mode. So it might be a case of attacking somewhere else. Um, so I might give that a word because I've got a walk team now I think I might attack where that wall was it seems a bit better um, I've got boost to use so we'll do that we'll use a stun on that And don't forget, guys, this is a high level at the minute. You know, this is designed to be super hard. <laughs> anyway, that sort of shows you how sort of it sort of how, how it works and how it sort of the battle goes. And it is hard at this level, guys. It is hard at high levels. It's designed to be hard. It's designed for all the Alliance attack. It's not designed for just to me to attack. And just to sort of give you guys proof that, you know, it sort of can be done. You can see there that, you know, that one has been defeated. That's one of the higher level bases. So it can be done by the higher level Alliances. And the lower ones are a lot easier, guys. So don't be disheartened on that. Uh, I'm going to show some of the lower end ones in a later video so you guys get a spectrum of the lower to higher ones. Uh, I'm going to do some more videos on this. It's not the only one, guys. Just done this video to give you an idea on how it sort of works and what you're sort of looking into. So that is the actual battle part. And you need, like I said, you need raid tokens to be able to do those battles. And you simply get tokens by pressing the tokens button there. And you would literally just go and do battles. Now, 
At the minute, it's 25 for the top two and 20 for the rest. Now, I think this will change. That's been a lot of the feedback that we've given because you can literally just take one bot into zone one and get 20 tokens. There's no you know, reason for you to take a high level squad in. Uh, and I'm not sure 20 is enough, but like I said, this is all going to change, guys. But just for now, you can sort of see. So let's just take one bot into a super low zone. So by destroying this base now, I will get 20 tokens towards a battle. And at the minute, like I said, it takes 100 tokens for a battle. Same again, guys. That might change. Don't be stuck on this thinking, oh my God, I've got to do five battles. Just have one of that. That's part of the feedback we've, that we've given to Space Ape. You know, so, you know, these values may change. They might not. They may change. Just keep that in mind, guys. So, a dead simple base. So, I'm just going to put Cheeto down. Because I've done a recent video on Cheeto. If you've not seen his video, go and check it out. It's an amazing bot. Really fun to use. We'll just fast forward it. And there we are. And you battle, obviously, there's higher level bases that you can attack. And it's your choice how you want to attack. But me personally, I just send one bot in. Uh, a lower zone just to get them 20 raid tickets and you keep going and that's basically how you do now those battles do take fuel cells don't get me wrong so you are limited how many battles you can do same again that may change and i think i need to put a disclaimer on this video saying you know things may change and they may but that just gives you an idea on how the system works uh, and that's pretty much it now guys and I honestly am really excited about this game mode. It's not quite there yet. It does need some improvements, but that's why we're on the test server, testing it, trying these things out, you know, so that we can make it better for you guys and make it so that it's balanced across everywhere. Uh, that is it for now, guys. Like I said, there's going to be more videos coming this weekend. Uh, don't be disheartened. Like I said, I'm going to go more in depth for it and do some more battles and try some more things out. Um... Like I said, there's plenty of time left and more videos coming. Alright, thanks for watching guys and peace out.